welcome along everyone. Uh, this video I'm taking a piece of crotch wood that I've had on the shelf for quite some time and I'm going to produce crotch box. And the inspiration behind this one, uh, Steve Tordell, Temple Boy Turnings, he's actually done quite a few of these, uh, it seems to be a bit of his sort of specialty and I've got to say I am very very impressed the way this has come out uh, just finished off with boiled linseed oil uh, just one coat as I was going to mount this onto a onto a worm screw chuck uh, the first thing I needed to do was basically have some form of a flat surface so that I could actually mount it against once it was wound onto the screw so what I did here was basically ran it through uh, the bandsaw just skimming off the top just to give me that little bit of a flat surface Drilling the hole wasn't too bothered about how deep it was, as uh, long as it was deep enough to take the screw and not too deep uh, for how I wanted the, for the depth of the box. Using the bowl gouge, just gently skimming off the top here, uh, you're turning an awful lot of air. Uh, I'm also holding this left handed as well, uh, just to keep up the line of fire. Decided on a mortise here, uh, basically it will mean that I can just keep as much wood as possible uh, for the outside of the box. Now this bit is totally my fault, um, the scraper basically grabbed hold on the wood and dug in a little bit and it turned out that I hadn't actually mounted this onto the chuck properly. Basically found this out once I'd remounted it again the whole thing was all off centre so therefore I had to re-skim across the bottom redo the mortise joint uh, which gets me back to where we are now just using the bowl gouge again gentle sweeps across the bottom I'm um, trying to curve up the edges Now rather than try and take these down quite with the gouge, uh, one of them was just miles too long and it was just far far quicker just to cut it through with the handsaw. You'll also notice as well there's quite a few splits in this piece and I wanted to keep this as natural as possible so I've not used any glue on it, haven't filled anything, uh, it is just left as it is. With the bowl gouge again, just again, just curving up those edges uh, and tidying up the sides. Uh, it's just for that end where the two branches stick out. After I've got the shape I've wanted across the bottom, uh, just basically run across with the scoop just to act as like a scraper and just tidy it up a bit. First lot of sanding, uh, with a piece of this shape you just really can't do much with the low spinning. Uh, you can do the centre bits, but the rest here is all just hand sanding. Mm -hmm. 
with the bottom finished it's time to put in the small set of jaws on my O'Donnell jaws uh, it's just four screws to put in those extra jaws that way I can then turn the piece around and mount it back on the chuck again I have to say that these jaws are well worth the money uh, so quick and easy to change over when you want to go to those smaller sizes So, like with the bottom, uh, just doing exactly the same with the top, gentle scrapes with the bowl gouge, again left handed, keeping one out of the way of the line of fire. With the top levelled off uh, onto the spindle gouge and this is the piece I really enjoy doing with boxes, a bit of back hollowing, uh, just far far more enjoyable than trying to drill something out with a force in a bit. As this box wasn't going to be too deep and I did want that curved shape across the bottom it's quite easy to do the whole lot all with the, the spindle gouge. So with the internal depth as deep as I need it, it's just a case of then using the parting tool to put a shoulder uh, just for where the lid's going to sit. using the spindle gouge just to side to create a little bit of shape around the opening of the box. then back to the bowl game should finish off the shaping on the ends. With all the shape complete, uh, it's just a case of tidying things up. So I use a square nose scraper there on the shoulder and I've got a round nose scraper there just to gently make two or three passes on the inside there to try and reduce that any tear that I've got. Now the, the, the end of this piece has got quite a few saw cuts on it from hand saws and chop saws and whatever and it was just a case of tidying it up so I used a power sander here, it took me about five minutes just to basically sand this down. Final lot of hand sanding uh, on the box itself uh, before I can get started on the lid. So I found another piece of branch which came from the same tree and just using the hot glue gun and a piece of waste pine uh, just mounted that onto the lathe, left it about 10 minutes to cool so it was set properly and then just using the bowl gouge uh, just truing up the outside. Another mortise in the base of the lid, so at least I've got something I can turn it around with on the ch onto the chuck. Just 
just a case here on bringing the size of the lid down. Uh, I want it initially as a tight fit on the box, so at least when I sand it down, it's not going to be too loose. A bit of practice with the detail gouge, uh, just removing some of that waste wood um, before I do the final sand on the bottom, uh, just to size it to fit into the box, and then I will part it off and turn it around onto the chuck. I needed the smaller jaws for the, to, put, to mount the lid, so it's just a case of undoing the four screws, take out the, the first set of jaws, put in the smaller size of jaws, four screws back in, and then you can mount the work. More work with the detail gouge, just shaping up the actual knob on top and just tidying it all up. So after the final sand, it's just a case then of giving the whole thing a finish. I found that boiled linseed oil works really well with this wood. So if this is your first time here, please do subscribe and click on the little bell button next to the subscribe button, at least that way you'll get notified every time I upload a video. For my existing subscribers, again as per usual, a big big thank you very much, your support is so much appreciated. I appreciate if everybody hit the share button, hit the like button and please do leave a comment below. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next project video, bye.